How to fix lag and stuttering in PUBG PC. Now the thing that I do with every single Intel processor is I go to the power plan, edit power plan, change advanced power settings, and here in the processor power management, I set the maximum processor state to 95%. Now why do I do this? Every time I set the percentage up to 100% and I play a, an incredibly hard game, such as and this has mostly been Minecraft with like insane shaders or Acero Corsa games that are incredibly hard on the processor. Every time I set a processor state to 100 and the processor gets too warm, the computer itself limits the processor up to 30%. So it overwrites the 100% you put in changes it to 30%. So by putting the maximum processor state to 95, it makes it so that the processor never exceeds the threshold of which the computer needs to tone it down then. And the other thing that you can do is go to the settings right here, go to properties, and the launch options, type in dash, I think it's called dash, DX11. This will force the game to run in DirectX 11. You can also go to the Installed files, click verify integrity of game files. This will find if there's anything corrupt in your game and overwrite it with correct data. And the rest of the settings that I want to show you are inside of the game. So let's launch PUBG. And here we are in the menu of PUBG. Go to the settings right here. And in the settings, you will see that there is an FPS cap. By default for everyone, it's set to unlimited. What you need to do is set it to custom. Now let's say that your computer is running PUBG at about 80 FPS, but there's a lot of lag spikes. So what you would need to do is set the FPS cap to around 65 or something. That way you do get a lower FPS, but you also get a lot less lag spikes because the computer needs to process less. Do the same thing with the lobby as well. Now go to the advanced. And one thing that is very, very hard for your processor in any game is post-processing. So turn this way down. Also turn down the foliage to very low. And also disable your V-Sync. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, see you in the next video.